When we think of our favorite clones, the names that come to mind are the likes of Fordo, Rex, Cody, Wolf, and absolutely not Fox. But what often slips the minds of most people is that these aren't their real names. The Kaminoans only gave them numbers, like ARC-77, CT-7567, CC-2224, and CC-3636. So, where did clone nicknames come from? As it would turn out, they were the work of a single man, albeit with a bit of Jedi help as well. When the Kaminoans bred the clone army, they didn't breed them to be individuals. They were intended to basically be living droids, mass-produced to die in the fires of war. To that end, the Kaminoans only assigned them alphanumerical identification codes, which consisted of a prefix of letters like CT, CC, CL, RC, or ARC, followed by a series of numbers. And even when instructors started to give clones nicknames, the Kaminoans discouraged the practice. Enter Alpha 17. Alpha and the rest of his Ark Trooper brethren were first released during the First Battle of Kamino and were a major factor in the Republic's victory there. During the battle, Alpha 17 distinguished himself as quite different from the normal clone, and due to this, Obi-Wan Kenobi took him as his clone liaison. Alpha fought with Kenobi and his apprentice Anakin Skywalker in many battles at the start of the war, until both Alpha and the general he served under were caught in an exploding AT-AT during the Battle of Jabim and listed as dead. But Alpha and Kenobi survived, and were captured by Asajj Ventress. They were imprisoned on rat attack and tortured, but eventually managed to escape their cell and start a prison riot, covering their theft of Ventress's ship and escape from the planet. Alpha and Kenobi were in the midst of a desperate battle to survive when Anakin Skywalker and Katie Mundi arrived, having heard their distress call to rescue them. Anakin, in particular, was overjoyed to see the two alive. However, Alpha didn't return to combat at Kenobi's side, at least not until Boz Pity, but that's another story. Instead, he decided to train a new generation of clone commanders, whose training would be dedicated to making them more like ARC troopers. As Alpha departed for Kamino, Obi-Wan said goodbye, joking as Alpha left that he should give the commanders real names. Alpha evidently took him at his word, because, soon enough, one of the first graduates of Alpha's program reported to General Kenobi to serve as a liaison, and called himself Cody. And after that, the idea spread like wildfire, and 99% of clones used designated nicknames instead of their call signs. Unless, of course, you are under General Krell. Before you go, here's a fun fact. Alpha 17 was originally supposed to be in the Clone Wars, but George Lucas shot it down because he didn't want excessive alliteration with Anakin, Ahsoka, R2, and the like. So instead, the designers tweaked the character of Alpha a bit, and decided to name their new character Rex. So there you have it, you've learned something new. If you want to see more of Alpha, make sure you check out the Star Wars Republic comics. And last but not least, I have a question for you all. Which clone's better, Rex or Alpha? Post your thoughts in the comments section below.